everyone, and today I'm going to talk about my April favorites. Please don't mind my scratchy, scratchy voice. I finally developed allergies. A lot of people have warned me saying like, oh, if you don't have allergies before you move to Japan, eventually you're going to develop them because during the spring, the pollen and everything flying around, it's very powerful, apparently. Hopefully it won't get worse than this. But anyways, let's get started with my April favorites for this month. This is gonna be my first favorites for this channel. So usually I break up my favorites into beauty products, lifestyle products, food, and also fashion. So first off, I'm gonna start with makeup and I have this foundation. This is from Shu Emura and it's called the light bulb fluid foundation so i just started using this foundation this month and i really like it because this is like one of the first foundations that i found matches my skin color the most and it's really light i think it's the lightest in this series also the fact that it's high coverage and the finish is very glowy and dewy so you probably saw this already in my previous makeup video my latest one i used this with a beauty blender and it worked out really really great in fact i also used this foundation for my kimono lookbook as well so if you want to kind of see it in different settings outside and inside that's all this foundation so and i've already used this for a whole day event as well and it worked out really great so i love this one and i'm going to continue using this from now on so the next one is max prep and prime lip it's basically a lipstick primer but it's also very moisturizing and i have really dry skin to begin with so for some reason this past these past two months i've been having really really chapped lips i usually put it on right before i start my makeup so it'll have time to absorb into my lips and usually it feels really good when i when i put it on so i i really enjoy using this like other than it working really well for me um, the only other thing I didn't like about this is the smell of it. It's kind of a heavy vanilla scent, but it's covering this really chemical-y scent. So instead of covering that chemical scent completely, you just have like a mixture of vanilla and this, this kind of strange chemical scent. It works out really well, so try not to smell this. <laughs> So I suffer from dry skin and it's not just like on my hands or on my face or on my lips. I also have eczema, although it's not very very terrible. And I have really really dry skin on my head. So this is called Plarmia Balancing Scalp Soap and the Balancing Scalp Pack. This is a refill. This was recommended to me by dejima Song who was my hairstylist. As you guys may know already, I go to Nalu Hair Salon here in Omote Sando up until now for the past couple years. But recently, he started his own hair salon called Wawa and it's located in Koenji. So if you guys do ever come and visit Japan, please check out his hair salon. I'll link it in the description box below. Dejima-san has recommended me to try out this shampoo. So this is aimed towards moisturizing as well as rejuvenating your scalp and he also mentioned that this was aimed towards older type of age group and to be sure to mention it usually you you'd have to ask for it specifically to get this even though it's aimed towards a higher age group it really worked with my scalp and it really did help out with all the dry skin i usually shampoo my hair and then i put on conditioner but try to avoid going straight up into the roots because it can clog pores. This one is a little bit different because I think the main ingredient is soybean. This is aimed for you to apply directly to your scalp and massage it into your scalp. I mean, I saw results right after the first time that I used it and I've been using it for the past maybe three months already. That's my favorites for, I guess, the past three months. For fashion-related favorites, I recently got this. This is Fenty Puma shoes. These are produced by Rihanna. So I tried to get my hands on these when they were available in Japan, but I wasn't able to go to their pop-up shop. I found this 
online in the US. So I ordered it and one of my best friends, Kira, she sent it to me and I finally got my hands on this. My shoe size is also really small so it was kind of hard to find my size which was a six. But I finally found it. I love wearing these. I have a hard time walking in heels and I always end up trying to find comfort but usually they're not as cute. These are the cutest pair of flat and comfortable sneakers that I own. I wear these almost every single day now. And last but not least is my food favorites. My favorite videos always have something food related. This is Starbucks. This is the new American Cherry Pie Frappuccino that is a limited item for Starbucks Japan. It's kind of like a cherry pie and it has real cherries plus the cherry syrup I believe. Soy Frappuccino inside. I ordered soy by the way because I don't really take dairy that well. Usually there's whipped cream on top and then they cap it with this pie crust which is my first time seeing it since it came out. For me, this is not so much a drink, but more like a dessert because you can eat a lot of different things in it. And usually by the end of it, the pie crust would remain and then it'll, it'll be kind of half soaked, like almost like cereal. And it's exactly like a dessert. It kind of melted when I was trying to film. Usually there's whipped cream in it too. So what you do is kind of just stick it through the pie crust like this. One more tip. Oh no. Usually because there's whipped cream in it, like it usually holds it up. Got cherry piece in there. So that was my April favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please write in the comments down below what are some of your own favorites for this month. I'm really interested and I would like to see what you guys are into. So recently I'm also looking for volunteers to help translate my videos. If you guys are interested, please click on the link down below where I've linked where you can translate the captions. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!